Hi guys, here's another video from PunchTech 3D Printers. This video will show you how you can be 3D printing in minutes with the PunchTech BoardBot 3D Printer. Here's a trick to keep the peanuts in the box. Reach down into the peanuts and look for the top handle of the printer. While keeping the box lids up, shake the peanuts off slowly and pull the printer out. Then carefully pull the plastic wrap off. Look at how small the printer's footprint is and yet has a large build volume. Next we will remove the shrink wrap by making sure we hold up the gantry so that it doesn't fall on the bed. Carefully cut the wrap without cutting into anything on the printer. Be very careful not to cut into the x-axis belt. Next, make sure the power supply is set to the correct voltage. The printer is shipped with the switch in the down position for 110 volts. If your country has a voltage of 220 volts, you need to place the switch in the up position before connecting power, or you will damage the power supply. You may need an adapter for the plug to fit into your electrical outlet. Next, we will attach the spool holders. Remove the cap on both vertical slides, then loosen the nuts on the spool holders almost all the way out. Remove the nut from the spool holder. Then insert the holder into the vertical slide slot. You may need to loosen the nut some more. Do the same for the other side. Now we can tighten all four screws. Next, we will install the filament on the spool holder. I like to leave one coil of filament out so that I can quickly load again after changing spools. This will also not allow the coil to knot from cross-threading the spool coils. You will see what I mean. Place the nut back on the rod with a couple turns. Make sure you have installed the filament with the end coming out from the top. Then replace the end caps on each vertical slide.
To download the software, go to punchtech.com, then click on downloads slash software. This is where you will find future updates for your printer. Click on the link Cura to download the software from their website. There are versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Click on the download button for your operating system. You will use this software to print parts and also control your 3D printer. Cura is open source and developed by David Brown. I believe Cura is the best slicer out there. When the pop-up window is displayed, click Run to download and install Cura. If you get a security warning, click OK. In this window, leave the default install directory, but make note of it because you'll need it later. Continue to click OK through the various windows. Cura slices incredibly fast and as you change parameters. You can also take your 2D photos and open them in Cura to print in 3D. You will be amazed by your prints and how easy it is to remove support structures. When the pop-up to install the driver appears, select to install it. For Windows 8 and above, you want to disable driver signature enforcement before starting this installation. Search the term on the internet and you will find out how to do that. Once the installation is complete, choose not to start Cura. Go back to punchtech.com, then click on curasetup.zip to download the configuration files for your printer. Open the zip file and select all the files, then copy them to the Cura installation directory. If you are prompted to overwrite the preference.ini file, select Yes. Now remove the tape from the extruder gantry. Spin the printer around to connect the power and USB cables. Now we can turn the power on. You can use the SD card to print without a computer. Next we want to check the Z-axis offset. During shipping things can move. This task is very infrequent. We need to heat the extruder to make sure any dried filament will not impede our calibration. Press the LCD button and scroll to the prepare menu. Then turn the knob and select preheat PLA. You will see on the LCD screen the extruder temperature is set to 190 degrees and to the left the actual temperature. Once the temperature is reached, click the button and go to the prepare menu. Then select auto home.
you will now see all the axes go to home position. Wait until the motors are disabled, then slip a standard piece of paper between the nozzle and the bed. Be careful not to burn yourself on the hot extruder. We will check the clearance at each corner until all have just a slight resistance on the paper. If the paper is too tight, we need to make that corner go down by screwing the screw on that corner clockwise just a bit at a time. Do the opposite if the paper is too loose. Continue going around to each corner until they are all set to a clearance where the paper can slide between the nozzle and the bed with a slight resistance. To load the filament, click the button on the LCD screen and scroll down to Load Filament. Then select Load PLA. This will make sure the extruder is hot. Make sure your spool is directly over the extruder. Cut the tip of the filament. Now wait for the temperature to be reached and load the filament. You may need to press the button again. You can use tweezers to clean the tip of the nozzle. Now we can open Cura from the Start menu. Click on the menu Machine to make sure Punch Tech is listed. Then select Machine Settings. In this window you can set the COM port from the drop-down. Next, from the File menu, we can open the PLA profile we copied before into the Cura install directory. You can see in the help what each of these parameters do. Now we will load a part from the load icon. As you can see, this is not the best orientation to print this part, so we will rotate it. We can also scale or mirror the part. Now just click the print icon to print the part. There are several tabs here, one for temperature, next jog for positioning, followed by speed for changing the print speed on the fly. After that, term to see the terminal transactions between the computer and the printer, and finally the camera tab if you would like to connect a camera to watch the print remotely. To make the parts adhere to the bed, Spray a little bit of Aquanet Extra Super Hold or something similar with a lot of lacquer in it or acrylics.
going to start printing the first layer slower because it has to adhere to it. This is in real time. I'm going to let it cool down and we just flick it. it off. And you can see Thank you for watching my video and have fun printing.